Hey everybody, if you're watching uh, this, this is kind of part two of how to cut out your own yard art. Uh, part one just kind of walks through the entire process, but this part two is actually going to be me showing you how I do things. Uh, it may not be the perfect way, you know, but it, it works. It's worked every time I've done this and uh, I think it'll work for you too. So we're going to go quickly over what I've got. You're going to need a drill or a dremel. I've got a jigsaw, ear protection, eye protection. Eye protection is an absolute must. Uh, I usually do this outside, but uh, it's nighttime and it's cold, so I'm going to do this in. Now, I've already gone ahead and traced out uh, my newest Grinch pattern for 2018 onto this uh, sheet of plywood. I think you can see just how uh, it is on here. It's just a regular black marker. What I'm going to do with the drill, you can see I've got kind of a fat bit on there. I'm going to go through and just kind of put a pilot hole in places that are going to need uh, a little bit of fine work. It's hard to get a jigsaw into some of these places to begin with. I'm doing is really just giving myself a little bit to work with here okay so you know there's no real uh, precise place to start with the hole that you can go wherever you want to you can do any other method if you choose to get that done but uh now probably the most critical part eyeglasses and earmuffs you may not look cool but you're gonna be able to hear and to see so i'm gonna try and angle this where you guys can see what I am doing to get started.
Okay, so there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, about 20 minutes of cutting. And this one is about five feet tall. My other ones are about six feet. But uh, you can see legs, arms, feet. And if you'll notice uh, when I did this, you can see knots and labeling and stuff on the back of this side because that's the side that you don't want to use. You don't want to have to try to paint over that kind of stuff. This side's very smooth, it's very pretty. Uh, you're gonna see some rough edges on this thing and that's okay because uh, when you paint up, you're gonna sand these edges with some sandpaper. Uh, you can use 100 grit, 150 grit. It's not gonna make a huge difference either way which one you do. Uh, and it's just going lightly across the edges. It'll sand right up. Uh, and then you know, you're, you're ready to trace on all your detail pieces, pieces and you're ready to paint. And uh, before you know it, you'll be done. You know, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment, to ask. Uh, do make sure you wear protection because uh, you don't want to lose an eye. Uh, always keep your finger away from the blade. You know, I know it's obvious, but it'll take your, your finger off like that. So, if you're uh, interested, you know, you can visit me at uh, etsy.com slash shop slash Jawas shop. J-A-W-A-S-S-H-O-P. But, uh, now I'm going to get ready to paint this bad boy. You guys have a great night.